G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run. Uh, I'm going to have a chat with you about pillows um, when you're camping. Um, everybody knows it's great to have their own pillow from the bedroom, but they're just so big you cannot take them with you. And also, depending on what your mattress is at home compared to your mattress when you're camping, they're completely different anyway. Uh, so your heights are completely different on your mattress from home to your mattress when you're camping. So there's some options we're going to go through, a um, few little ideas of what you can use as a pillow. Um, some people just lie on the back, don't even worry about a pillow. But I'm a side sleeper and I'll show you the options I've been through and the ones I've found personally the best. Alright guys, so I've set up my nice little camping table in the garage. I've put this old towel on it because it is absolutely manky, but give you some idea. As I was saying, your pillar from home best pillar you can spend a fortune on pillars as you know um, this is mine from my bedroom and obviously depending on your mattress your whether it's medium density thick heavy you know really soft it depends where you're going to sink in and where your head goes um, and obviously when you're camping you've either got a cot or you've got a tiny thin mattress and it's not the same your shoulders digging in so you need a bit more height or whatever but it'd be great if we could carry that with us but yeah Practicality wise, we can't. So I'll show you some of the options I've been through and what I've tried, what I'm now using, what I would like to use in regard of what I am using and what I would want to use. Um, but yeah, we'll go through them. So first off, your bag of clothes. Everybody carries some spare clothes, which is ideal. Stick your head on that. Don't need to carry a pillar at all. Um, the only problem is, as you're changing your clothes as you go, that bags are going to get thinner and thinner, or it's going to get smellier and smellier inside, um, one or the other. Um, some dirty socks in there might uh, affect your sleep, but might make your sleep better. That's one option, just your clothes bag. Um, you're already carrying clothes, so why carry a pillow? The other thing is your compression bag. Um, you know, you might carry a spare one of these, you can just put some air into it, roll it up, get some air in, lock it over. This one's damaged on the on the buckle, so it might not catch. No, it's not catching, but you get my gist. That will hold, and that's got a bit of air in there, so, you know, theoretically, that should stay up all night if it's a decent bag. Um, so, yeah, just like a self-inflating thing. The other thing is... Just a pillowcase, been cut in half. Um, and then obviously this folds up absolutely flat to nothing. Again, you can just stick that anywhere, stick it in your tent as you can see, there's no size to that whatsoever. And again, you know, you get your jumper, you take your coat off, your jumper off, whatever you're not using, and just put it inside that. And then you've actually got a proper pillow case with a, uh, a pillow in it. So you're not actually dirtying uh, and dribbling. This is like a terry towel in one, so it's got like a liner inside it. So you're not actually dribbling onto your clothes um, if you're a, a bad sleeper like I am. Um, so yeah, that's just a, an idea with that. The other thing is my Sea to Summit mat, you've seen this what I carry on my bike and it's also um, a little seat pad just blow that up again, it's quite low so I need a little seat pad, as I say I put that on my seat when I'm travelling under the mesh here's a little photograph of that but you can just fold that in half again stick it in there and again, you've got a little sleeping pillar. So that's an inflatable idea. Um, again, you can stick it into there, fold it up, put it into there. Another pillar. Just keeps your head off the deck. And then we go on to the inflatable ones. This is a Kmart $2 jobby. Got a bit of velour on one side, blow up valve on the other. But yeah, you can see why I don't take that piece of shit. But again, 
still blow up, still inflatable, uh, rolls up, packs away, you know, you can put that over the top of that again if you wanted to, as I say that's a nice little unit, but pouring it up and down is one of those things where it's time consuming, as I say, folds are pretty small. This is my absolute go-to pillar. I love this pillar. It is so, so comfortable. It's made by Headland. There is other copies of this out there now. Um, other manufacturers doing them. It's a self-inflating pillar. It's got a little nozzle on the side. Just undo that. You throw that into your tent while you're getting everything else set up and it blows itself up. Again, if you wanted to, it will go inside there. So you've got a little bit of as you can see, this is absolutely manky. I've used this a lot, a lot of times. And um, as I say, just to save time, I'll put a bit of air into it. Because it's got foam inside, it just blow itself up. And like I say, you can put it in there. That's what I made this pillowcase for, put in there. Just so it's not, it takes that noise away when you turn it over, especially if you've got whiskers. Um, you guys will know that's got whiskers and beards. That's that's all you hear during the night, wake yourself up. But that is absolutely brilliant because if it's too hard, do that, loose it down, undo it again, it'll blow itself back up. But the problem with that is the size to me. As I say, it is so, so easy. But as you can see, compared to the one that I do use, it's a completely different ball game. Obviously, when space is an issue in your bike, every little bit counts. But if I could, I'll take that everywhere with me. That is, as I say, I keep saying it's so, so comfortable. If I go away in the ute and stick the big tents on, and I stick my cot, um, I've got like a 100 mil, a big cot that sits on the floor and I put a 100 mil mattress onto it, a June mattress. Um, I'll take that with me because it's such a, such a good night's sleep. But this is what I use most of the time now. It's a little seat to summit. This is just the regular size one. There is a larger version. But as I say, this Kmart one, pretty much the same thing. That's $2. This is $50, but again, it's self-inflating, but I've just put my nose to there, and I remember blowing this up. The last time I blowed it up, I'd just drunk a little flask of whiskey, and it's, yeah, it's still, it's, still, it's, like, it's like kissing a drunk. <laughs> but yeah, you just like got that valve, same sort of thing as the mat. A couple of three blows. And again, you, you've got a pillar, and it's got the velour top on there, so it's not it's not as noisy as the others. And so you've got this plastic rustling. Um, so these seat to summits, they are pretty expensive, but they are very comfortable. Um, as I say, there's a bigger one, but this, as you see, look, just goes into that little bag. And when space is an issue, that's the one to use. Comfort-wise, this time, this one, anytime all over it see the summit as you can see mr dribbler but yeah that's pillows that's pillows for you no 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 no